I'm not a fan of this painting, but it's a work by Mandragora. It's probably worth something. I don't want to move it. No, there's no secret safe back there. A refillable metal lighter, an inscription on the bottom reads, Come on baby, light my fire. Nah, I should try something else. This isn't the right... That's not quite... I can't do that. A refillable metal lighter, an inscription on the bottom reads, come on. I don't want to harm anybody.
It's 7.33 p.m. on an early December evening in the year. You awaken from a slumber of indeterminate length. Was it five minutes or 40, maybe a year? Time seems to have slipped away, leaving you dazed and confused. You look around the living room and everything feels off. It's your flat where you've lived for nine years, but it's not quite right. It's hard to describe, but it's as if something critical is missing or something uncanny has been added. You stretch and stand up, trying to shake off the strange sensation. <sighs> the intercom rings out. Someone's calling from the street entrance. You aren't expecting any visitors, but you should probably see who it is. I like it where it is. Every time I look at this painting, it appears different. But one thing remains the same. I am ashamed of my artistic taste. I love my couch, but I napped enough for today. The fabric is worn with the colors fading and the cushions are flat from overuse. It's no use without a battery to charge. A high-speed charger meant for silicon batteries. A run-of-the-mill quantum dot television. I don't have the focus right now to watch TV. Rows of books, mostly science fiction, Japanese authors, and beat generation wordsmiths. Huh, I guess I left my wallet here. I'd better take it. I'm not in the right headspace to read anything right now. The increase of disorder or entropy is what distinguishes the past from the future, giving a direction to time. Stephen Hawking. I have no use for it. I'm not in the right headspace to read. A leather wallet filled with cash and credit cards. Curiously, there are no pictures or ID cards inside. However, there is an old fortune cookie note. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today. How odd. The phone's been wiped clean. No photos, messages, or roaming data. I can't even connect to Wi-Fi. Funny enough, the only number saved is for a food delivery company. A refillable metal lighter, an inscription on the bottom reads, Come on baby, light my fire. A pack of Crownland cigarettes. On one side is the company logo, and on the other is an image of a jawless cancer victim. I should quit smoking. The laptop is on with a command prompt open. It's full of paperwork mostly, bills, boring contracts, and medical files. Not worth my time. A metal filing cabinet. I don't need anything from here. It's mostly empty containers, cooking tools, pots, pans, and cutlery. A table, some dishes, glasses, and the oven. This place could use a good cleaning. I'm not in the mood to cook anything. Maybe there are some leftovers in the fridge. A sturdy refrigeration appliance that emits a low humming sound. Um, not much in here but this sandwich. I'll take it. 
a sandwich made with ham, cheese, and rocket lettuce. Enshrouded in a haze of confusion, you try to grasp how time is currently functioning. It seems, regardless of how long you've spent in an environment, time doesn't progress. Only when you move from place to place will a minute pass. The uncanny feeling with which you woke up persists and your discomfort grows. You wonder if you're still dreaming. Is anything around you even real? has changed over the years, and although you miss its former appearance and the memories that came with it, you've grown to appreciate its current charm. The neon lights, the rain-soaked streets, the constant buzz of advertising and worrying vehicles, they merge to create a symphony of the city. You often find yourself relaxing on this balcony, taking in the view and letting the atmosphere wash over you. I like it where it is. It looks real, but it's made of plastic. Natural plants are a luxury nowadays. Sneakers, sandals, slippers, and docks. I'm okay with the pair I have on. The camera is busted. Besides that, it works well enough. The door to the bathroom. There are strands of long hair in the drain. Who do they belong to? I don't want to wash my hands right now. It looks clean. I don't need to use it right now. The faucet leaks a droplet of water every few seconds. I don't think a bath will do me any good right now. Nothing interesting here. I don't have anything to throw away. It's large enough for all my clothes, which isn't much. My keys are in here. I'd better take them. The keys to my flat and a decorative tiny house keychain. I like the city from above. It's too cold to open the window. Looks comfy. I just woke up. I don't need to sleep again. It's meant to show advertisements, but it looks broken. It doesn't work. It reads, all tenants are requested to keep the common area clean. I can't do anything with it. The tenant of 27.3 is invited to keep their television at an adequate volume. People want to sleep downstairs. It's not signed. Better to leave it where it is. I'm not interested in a home invasion. Have you 
seen my pussycat? I'll keep an eye open for it. Do you mind chatting while we look? What's on your mind, dear? Have we been neighbors for a long time? Oh, don't you remember? I was here already when you moved in several years ago. Sorry, I'm a little out of sorts this evening. What can you tell me about this building? Uh, not too much. I know it was built during the 2020s. Most of the residents are young families. I've seen many folks come and go during my time here. Alan, the receptionist, can tell you more. He's such a lovely bot with endless knowledge of our abode. You should try talking to him. Okay, thanks. Actually, I think I should go. Okay, bye. Let me know if you see my kitty. Kitty! A kindly elderly lady looking for her cat. Kitty! It sells soda, but it's empty at the moment. It needs to be re- Filled with a crumpled up newspaper and some cigarette butts. I don't have anything that I want to throw away. Kitty. The elevator to go downstairs. You hear a thunderous explosion. It sends a shockwave into your very core. You wonder what happened. It felt close, yet far. Condo's communal storage cabinet. It's locked. Mailboxes for the condo residents. Nothing in mine. I won't touch the others. The antique radio owns a creepy tune. The song sounds familiar, but the harder I try to interpret the lyrics, the more abstract they become. It's better if I don't change the station. The robo-receptionist seems to enjoy it. The robot receptionist works busily behind the computer. Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? Do you work 24-7, non-stop? Precisely. My model is one of the best robo-receptionists you can find on the market. All year round, day to night, Monday to Sunday. With 28 terabytes of space in the cloud to store all my data. Typing information down the sidereal gutter. Looking at humans walking by like dancers in the night. Organizing functional architecture like a formal life. And I only need maintenance twice a year. Don't you ever get tired or bored? I'm a machine. I'm not programmed for tiredness or boredom. I wish I were the same. Do not say that, sir. I saw the best robots of my generation destroyed by bugs, emotionally starving, and hysterical for a slice of human feeling. A fair number of robots crave to be human, while an equal number of your kind yearn for robotic consciousness, advanced programming, and the potential for eternal digital existence.
Not me. It sounds like being a robot means losing your freedom and being forced to repeat the same actions again and again. No offense. Not taken. I have not been programmed to be offended. I don't perceive myself as a prisoner. Perhaps you could tell me what being a prisoner feels like. Every so often, a person wishes to broaden their horizons, explore an exotic country, or change jobs to escape the routine. Living in prison won't allow any of that. Humans need routine as much as they require change. Freedom can come from routine. I foresee this philosophical conversation lasting for hours. If someone might step in, I must be available to do my duties. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Can you tell me how long I've lived here? Absolutely. You moved in during my fourth year of service. Nine years, 34 days, and 21 minutes ago. Why do you ask? Are you feeling unwell, sir? This evening I feel rather confused. Everything seems so new to me, yet I have memories related to this place. As I stated, you've lived here for quite some time. Perhaps you're in distress. The causes can be multiple. Too much work, drugs, or head trauma. Sir, did you fall in the shower after work? I don't think so. I mean, my hair isn't wet. Unfortunately, I cannot aid you with this matter. Perhaps seek medical attention if the issue persists. Is there anything else, sir? Do you have the key for the cabinet over there? Yes, I do. Can I borrow it? I can't give it out so easily. The cabinet is for communal use, and you must have a good reason to access it. Do you? My mind is shaky, and something in the cabinet can help me realize what's happening. Eh, I doubt what's in the cabinet can help you. You should call a doctor. Can I assist you with anything else? Tenants should be able to access the cabinet anytime they want. Not while I'm on guard, sir. That's totally illogical. It'll result in tools being misplaced, consumables stolen, and chaos. Ugh, malach. I think you are overreacting. I am not. So, do you have a reason for me to give you the cabinet key? Actually, no. That's not how things work here. Come back when you have a good reason to open the cabinet. Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? How could I not have heard it? It shook the entire condo. Perhaps it was caused by an explosion from a gas leak a block away? Unfortunately, such mishaps are not rare events these days. However, there is no need to worry, as the maintenance in this building is up to snuff. Uh, alright. Nothing. I have to go. It's plastic, but it adds to the ambiance. The plastic leaves feel cold and lifeless. That's not quite it. That doesn't seem to work. A refillable metal lighter, an inscription on the bottom reads, Come on. The keys to my flat and a decorative tiny house keychain. A 
small humanoid robot marred with scratches, dents, and burn marks. It acts strangely. Woo! Hey! Hi! Evening! Good, good, good evening! Um, hi? What do you need from Isaac? Is everything okay with you? No, of course not! Can't you see? I'm bu 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 bugged Yes, the way you move and talk is not normal. Can I help you? Help me? Why? To fix you. No! Oh, woo! I'm fine this way! I'm fine and dandy! Please do not fix me! Wah! All right, all right. Did you hear that explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Did someone finally blow up that big evil bot PD-99? Uh, uh. No, it doesn't seem so. Ah, uh, such a sh- such a sh- such a shame! Sting! I think I should go. Bye bye. Insert 20 credits and test your luck. Oodles of awesome prizes. <laughs> it seems like an easy way to waste money. Um, shocker. I didn't win anything. It's a poster for an old noir film titled The Broken City. It features a trench coat clad detective and a sultry femme fatale. I don't think I've seen it. It's a poster for an old noir film titled The Broken City. It features a trench coat clad detective and Good evening. Good evening to you. Is everything hunky-dory? Are you the bouncer? Me? No, I'm much too delicate to be a bouncer. Besides, the club doesn't open for a couple of hours. I'm just hanging loose, waiting for my friend. We were supposed to meet at 8pm, but I arrived a bit early. Time is still an abstract concept to me. I feel the same way sometimes. Standing here and talking with you, it's clear you're no bouncer. More like a rock star. I'm no rock and roll star. More of a black star, baby. I may even be a star man waiting, but not in the sky tonight. How well do you know this place? Do you mean this neighborhood? Kind of, yes. Just arrived. I was dragging my heels in Suffragette City, but a friend wanted my honey, so I beamed down. I take it from your inquiry, you're not from around here either. No, in fact, I live nearby. But tonight, everything looks new to me. Have you indulged in some funky substances? No. Huh. Well, I don't think so. I don't quite remember. Maybe a cocktail of LSD and some last generation neurodrugs. Those will blast you off into outer space, babe. Hmm. That's something I should look into.
Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? Oh my gosh, baby, I heard it. It rattled my bones. Its origin and nature elude me, yet it evokes memories of the ultimate demise, the great calamity from which I fled. Calamity? What are you talking about? It's a distant recollection, perhaps eroded by the sands of time or obfuscated by some other force. Yet its presence persists, akin to the scent of charred remnants that linger even after the flames are quenched. I feel it too. Keep asking around. Perhaps we aren't the only ones that remember. A neon lady kicking her mechanical leg. I guess it's meant to lure in patrons. I can't reach it. It looks like a cabinet for electric power or something like that. It's locked. I think it requires a certain kind of key. It displays the current time. The front is covered with weatherproof glass and the rest is enclosed with a metal casing. I can touch it, but it doesn't have any effect. You are not authorized to proceed. But I see people walking over there. I don't care. You cannot pass. An imposing robot is guarding the street. What do you want? Can you let me walk over there? Why? I'm not programmed to tell you why. Move away. Who are you and what are you doing? I am a model PD-99 guard bot created by Satoshi Corporation and leased to the government. I am deployed to stop suspicious individuals that want to pass by to the other side of the street. Does this mean I'm a suspect? According to my facial recognition and data analyzer, yes. Suspected of what? I'm not permitted to provide that information. Leave the area. Did you hear that explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Most likely insurrectionist scum committing terrorist acts at Freedom Square a few blocks away. Oh, interesting. Can I go look? No, move away. I guess I'll go. Good.
They look unique with out-of-this-world makeup and clothing. Um, hi. What do you need from Isaac? Do you have any idea how to get rid of that big robot blocking people on the street? BD-99? Oh, I hate him. Sting! Very mean robot programmed to be square-minded. Woo! Indeed. But how can I get rid of him? Oh, well, uh, uh, mess up with his brain. Yes, surely. Dang, mess him up! And they'll take him away to fix him. Brr, could take half an hour. Yes! If I do something to his brain, they'll take him away to fix it for half an hour? Are you de de deaf or what? I just wanted to be clear. How can I mess him up? Jamming! 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 Jamming in the name of the Lord! <laughs> Those robots are connected to the network! Woohoo! Um? Place a signal jammer high above, spread the waves to reach his mainframe, and puff! Sting! Bang! Boom! I don't have a signal jammer. Oh, that's a pity. They're not for s s sale Tricky. Boo! Regarding the signal jammer to sabotage PD-99. What? Can you repeat to me what I have to do? Just place a signal jammer high above and turn it on, of course. <laughs> and swoosh, burr, bang, PD-99 will go crazy. <laughs> they will take him away to be fixed and return him in 20 to 30 min minutes. Okay, thanks. Can you help me get one of those jammers? I'd love to get you out of this jammer. <laughs> get it? <laughs> the crowd. Sadly, I don't have a jammer for sale. And I know they don't sell them anywhere. However, it's easy to create a basic one that'll do the job. Believe me, I knows it. Is that the reason why you are a bit, uh, screwy? Uh, no! Uh All right, uh, anyway. If it's easy, what do I need? An antenna, of course, to spread the signal! And a noise pulsar! Yes, yes! Do you have any of those? No, sorry, no antenna. What about the noise pulsar? Ah, noise pulsar, yes! Found one in a dump dumpster a couple of nights ago! Wait, you have one? Why didn't you mention that earlier? Can I have it? Um, what's in it for me? Oh, come on, seriously? I'll get rid of that big robot grump over there, remember? Ding! Ah, woohoo! I don't like PD-99. Oh, oh, okay, take the pulsar. Remember the antenna? Yeah! <laughs> uh, thanks. And yes, will do. Bye. This thing can make robots go haywire. However, I need something to help spread the signal. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. It's too high to reach. The end is nigh. It's too high to reach. The end is nigh. A device to transmit or receive a signal. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. 
No need to yell, I'm standing right here. Can we have less shouting and more of a conversation? What do you want? You're disturbing my calling. What's the purpose of going around screaming like that? The masses must be awoken to the truth. <laughs> Only my bellows can rouse them from their deep slumber. The wolf is ravenous and fierce and pulsating with writhing tentacles. Wolf, huh? Has anyone else been listening to your warnings, or am I the only one to stop and chat? Mm, you're the first in weeks to stop, but, but I don't care. No, people may hurry past me, but they will heed my voice. You must wake up. It's, it's coming. The end of all things. What can you tell me about the end of the world? I remember what most forgot, and then you can remember too. Yes, there's still time before it comes again. What's coming exactly? The end of all things. A wolf with a thousand mouths and ten thousand flaming tentacles. Enough. Wake up! Remember, it's the only way we escape total annihilation. Did you see the explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Ah, that was nothing. A snap of the fingers compared to what's coming. Be aware, the end is nigh. Yes, yes, you said that a few times already. Have I told you it'll be the second rapture? Second? You don't remember? Like so many, you act as if your memories have been wiped clean. <laughs> Some of us, a chosen few, can never forget that we faced the apocalypse already. Not long ago. And now it's coming to claim our lives once more. You're crazy, old man. Crazy? <laughs> That's what I hear most of the time. That I'm crazy. Woo! Let me tell you one thing, guy. I'm the only sane person around. You know deep down inside that what I say is true. You just need the right trigger. One, two, three, boom. You'll realize we've already been obliterated from this earth before, and it'll happen again. Um, yeah, right. I'm not exactly convinced. I'll keep asking around. Yeah, one, two, three, boo! The end is nigh! That's the weird. Someone nigh. threw out a perfectly fine taser. The end is nigh! I don't want to throw anything out. The end is nigh! This can work as a self-defense tool, or if I require a burst of electricity. The end is nigh! The end is nigh! She is the owner of the electronic shop, and she makes a cybernetic arm look nigh. good. The Garbage the end bin. Is nigh. 
he shambles around in circles. Un the end is nigh! Hello, what can I do for you? What are you selling? The end is nigh! Mostly electronic components, meant for DIY projects, the home robotics, computers, nigh. and small appliances. Good to know. Do you mind if I ask what happened to your arm? What if I cut the my arm off to replace nigh. it with a more efficient cybernetic one? That's pretty hardcore, but nigh. I've known people who have done that. Some cut off more than just an arm. <laughs> Don't give me any ideas. The Truthfully, I lost nigh. it in an accident. I was young and reckless and had just gotten my first flight bike. The end is nigh. I was bombing down the street and out of nowhere some jerk bolts in front of me. I swerved, narrowly nigh. avoiding them, and crashed directly into a giant neon sign. Oh. The end is nigh. My arm was torn up so badly that it was easier the to remove it and implant nigh. this one. All things considered, it wasn't a bad trade-off, aside from the fact that I need to tune the screws the from time to time. Nigh. The end is nigh. Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what happened? The end is nigh. You heard it too! Finally, someone else who is willing to talk about them. The Often I feel like I'm the only one that hears the explosions. Is it that everyone else utterly the ignores them? Nigh. Are people that detached? Each time one comes knocking, I get these ghastly visions flashing in front the of my eyes. Images of death and destruction. They barely last fractions of a moment, but I'm left nigh. reeling each time. My god, I'm sorry. Do you have any idea what they could be? The end is nigh. I think they are ripples from the past leaking into the our present. A catastrophe that everyone seemingly has forgotten about or dares to bring up. You aren't the first person I've the spoken to who mentions nigh. it. And the more I discuss it, the more I remember it. Yet it's all the still so vague. I, I need to know more. Part of me is slightly relieved to hear that. It makes me feel less alone. I'll advise the you to watch for minor nigh. details in your surroundings. What people aren't able to remember, the environment does. The end is nigh. Um, there aren't any signs of the apocalypse here. Hello? Ignore what you heard. It's all lies. Who is this? A friend. And they're telling you that there was no great cataclysm. It's just hearsay, an urban legend. Fake news. But I have memories. They might be scattered, but I know something happened. No. Let it go. If it's the truth you seek, go to your bedroom. Is it how you remember? Is something amiss there? My bedroom? Yes. Now go and find the truth. But... Oh, baby face. You seem tense. I gotta come clean. I did a little eavesdropping while you were on the phone. Do not believe their lies. The apocalypse is real. Tough pill to swallow, huh? It's easier to choke down with a mouthful of gin. But once you know the truth, it's impossible to ignore. The feeling will be scratching at the back of your eyelids everywhere you look. You'll see signs of the end times and the ordinary and mundane. Just look around. Everything will be clear. Um, sure. Whatever you say. Um, there aren't any signs of the apocalypse here. 
It's too high. Um, there aren't any signs of the apocalypse. Hey, hello. What's up, pretty boy? I'm feeling dazed and confused. Like that Zeppelin track? Oh, I hate classic rock. Give me some Mozart or Borodin. Sprang, thumb, swoosh. That's the sort of power that shakes my guts like a thunderstorm of boundless, animalistic energy. Pfft. Dazed and confused. Who is it? Oh, I see. You're trying to pull some compassion out of a dirty old man. No, it's not that. It's just... I'm just trying to understand what's going on. Well, you've come to the wrong guy for answers, pretty boy. At least for now. Do you need any help? You must be cold out here. Nah. My ass has been on this wet concrete so long that I don't feel much anymore. Not physically, at least. <laughs> well, mentally, I'm nearly as numb. Once you've experienced the life I've had, almost nothing gets to you. You, on the other hand, you look troubled. Or are your desperate eyes telling lies? I... I don't know. Something is off. So, how can I help you from the gutter? Living out on the streets, you must gain a rare perspective on the city. <laughs> you aren't wrong, kid. You uncover truths about people when they act like you're not even there. Hell, you've done just that to me for years. Why so chatty now? Huh? You've seen me around for years? What do you know about me? I've seen you step out of your condo and saunter by countless times. Typically, you barely glance in my direction. Not that I'm aggrieved. I know your type. Always a place to go. Deals to make. Important people to see. It's not that. It's just... I guess before, I never felt the need to initiate conversation. I apologize. I see you genuinely possess a keen sense of humanity. Don't worry about it, kid. And I'm nothing special. You come to understand a thing or two about the nature of man when you take time to observe, fantasize, and bend one's elbow. I don't know. Maybe until now the thought never even entered my head. God, does that make me a horrible person? Nah, you're average. Most folks like you don't talk to people like me. Simple as that. Today I feel different. Did your pretty girlfriend give you a nice suck job? <coughs> bah? What? No, just... Tonight, life feels and looks different, as if I'm experiencing it for the first time. God damn. I wish I could experience this city for the first time again. It was really something when I first rolled in here. But now, it's a doddering whore with two pig legs. Used up, disease-ridden, and rotting from the inside out. Can we change the subject? Did you hear the explosion? Explosion? What are you talking about? I didn't hear anything. Actually, I think I better go. I'll be here.
Um, there aren't any signs of the... I don't need anything from there. Um, there aren't any signs of the apocalypse here. Um, there aren't any signs... It's too high. It's too high. It's locked. Um, there aren't any signs... The shutters are locked and won't butt. Um, there aren't any signs of the apoc... Good luck flying this thing without the starter. I already have a pack or two at home. Plus, I don't exactly have sex on my mind. Um, there aren't any signs of the... Good evening, what can I get you? What are you selling here? Best fried chicken in town, man. Deep fried in lava oil, crispy, tasty, crunchy, just simply delicious. You make it sound awesome. It doesn't just sound awesome, it tastes awesome. Can I have some fried chicken? Of course. The special menu is $24.99 credits. That sound good? Yes, please. Here's your chicken. Enjoy. Thanks. Can I have a beer? Uh, sure, it's $8.99 credits. One, please. Here you are, good man. Thanks. Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what that was? Probably just some kids playing with fireworks. I wouldn't worry. That sounded way more powerful than just kids' fireworks. Ah, the kids nowadays, they get into some crazy stuff. Nothing. I should go. Have a good evening. Um, there aren't any signs. Thank you. 